hey, I, I know what you're saying. Like, what in the world are these guys? Hey, this is the steam room, the one and only steam room, where we discuss Quad City Steam Weathers football with people who run the team, with people who run plays, and with people who catch lots of touchdown passes like we're going to talk to today. But we'll keep that surprise for now. We're at the Top Shape Gym in Rock Island. There are six Top Shape Gyms in Rock Island. They're named because they keep you in top shape. So join when you feel the need. I'm with Doug Bland, the owner of the Quad City Steam Withers. If I haven't introduced myself, I'm Jim Albright. And Doug, uh, uh, yeah, I, it's immaterial at this point. I'm in the steam room, man. I, it's like one of the highlights of my life. So when you are an owner of a club, I know you invest, you know, you, hey, we're talking money, we're talking all of that stuff, but let's talk about your emotional investment. I mean, I've seen you after a loss and I've seen you after a win. This is like tough to do. I mean, it, you, you live it. Yeah, it's an emotional roller coaster. I mean, you you try to do everything you can in, in the off season to give the organization all the tools necessary to build a winning team um, from the business side of it as well as the playing side of it. And um, you know, going from two Fridays ago when we lost by two, and you know we outplayed those guys. We just had some stupid mistakes that ended up losing us the game. Um, to fast forward eight days later to where we win by 28 and. You know, everything was hitting on all cylinders, and, and you know, it's just, you know, you go from, oh, you know, you're, you're so mad because you, you missed out on this opportunity to knowing that we kind of had our backs against the wall. We could not, I said, my like, Corey, we can't be 0-3. We got we to come out. And those guys just busted their butt all week long. They schemed well. They practiced well. They came out and played well. And the coaching staff, players, you know, everybody just kicked butt. And, and the result was a 28-point victory. You mentioned Corey Ross, of course, uh, from Nebraska, played for the Baltimore Ravens, head coach of the Steam Willers right now. And the proximity of the field and the coaches and everything, I mean, I look down when I'm doing the game on TV and I see that you are talking to a coach. You're, what, what's going on down there? Um, one thing, I, like I said, one other thing I love about Corey is he, he's always open for – he'll, he'll come to me and say, hey, man, what do you think about this? Or what, yeah. what, what's your idea on this? And – I mean, like I said, he's forgotten more about football than I've ever known. So I'm not here to say, oh, Corey, you know, we'll, we'll only try this. But, you know, if he asks me for an advice or, or an opinion on something, I'm going to give it to him just, just basically because we're watching the game from the stands. So it's a completely different perspective. When you're in the trenches in the heat of the moment, as a coach, you might not see some things. And if he asks me, I'm going to tell him something that, that I think maybe would help. And, you know, not that I want to seem like I'm Jerry Jones trying to be the puppet master or something like that. But Signing $100 <laughs> bills. Here you go, man. Because, like I said, he, he, he's forgotten more about this game than I'll ever know. But there, there's sometimes you, you're you in the heat of moment. You don't realize something's happening that you might be able to improve upon. Well, and you mentioned Jerry Jones jokingly. But the fact is you're an owner where players and fans can come up and do one-on-ones with you, and you've been in the house, and the crowds have been really good at the Tax Slayer Center. What kind of comments are you getting from the fans? They're, I mean, they're thrilled. Obviously, they would like to be three and zero versus one and two, but <laughs> yeah, uh, that's fans, know, and, and that's that's what we have to improve because I, I really think we've got the the coaching staff. I know we have the talent. I mean, I really think that we get on a roll here. Um, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And. Uh, I know that one guy that's going to be on that roll is standing outside the steam room right now. So, Doug, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you, sir. Great, great to get the steam on. As usual, don't forget, next home game is April 21st against Sioux City, and uh, we have some business to take care of with Sioux City. Come on in. Quentin Pedroza barely fits inside the steam room, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> but he does fit. That's the whole idea. Uh, Quentin, you had a great game, uh, three touchdown passes, but i got to talk about Hail Marys are just so hard to do. Uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers gets a lot of credit for that. But you were on the end of a Hail Mary that, well, it clicked in your mind, but it didn't click in the official's mind. End of the first half, take us to that play, man, because I thought for sure you had it. Man, man, man. I've been, I've been thinking about that play since it happened. Um, it, it, it just, I watched it on film like 30 times. <laughs> um, I've tried to see every angle that I could, that I could possibly see. And it, it just reminds me of, of the Giants catch, David Tyree, yep, you know, with yep. the helmet. You know, he squeezed on the helmet. And uh, like the NFL, they're changing those catching rules. So, so I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's, it's – I, I thought it was a catch. Maybe it's something that we can look at. Um, but it just – in the heat of the moment, it, I felt like I got P.I.'d. Uh, he, he was on my back. I couldn't even jump. He watched the video. I couldn't even jump. Yeah. Um, so I just kept my eyes on the ball and – 
they kind of, you know, that's a DB for you. They, they kind of took their eyes off the ball. So that's why I, I was able to make the catch. But it was right here. And when I when I went back, it kind of sailed up. And I hit my head on the ground. But I had my I had my left hand on the ball in between my, my hand and, and my face mask. And you are one of those receivers that there, there was a play. You caught the pass at the two-yard line. And then it was just power time. I mean, not all receivers have your kind of power. You use that to your advantage. Definitely, definitely. It's, it's you, something. you like knocking DBs down. Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm hearing here? I, I love it. I love it. I got. <laughs> I, li I like to say that I'm a I'm a receiver with a defensive mindset. Ah, very good. That's I, what I like that. I like, I like that. So, uh, everybody, you know, I'm I'm trying to come up with cool phrases for every time you get in the end zone, like Aloha end zone or whatever, because obviously the man played at the University of Hawaii. But uh, when you when you look back at your college life and your college career, I know there was an injury there late. Uh, everything you wanted. I mean, hey, every, you're, you're 17. You're dreaming of going to college. You're dreaming of being big time. And uh, was it everything you wanted from Utah to the University of Hawaii? Oh, definitely. It was. It was that's an understatement. Um, being in college is it's just it's, it's a blessing. First, first off, um, everything is kind of. I, I wouldn't say given to you, but it's it's there for you yeah. to to take. Um, and it's it just. If I could do it all over again, I would ten times in a row. You and EJ are roommates, right. and you're also the hookup team as far as wide receiver QB. Is that like a mistake? You guys talk about this constantly? I mean, if I came up to your room, would you like be boring me with all these routes and st things? A hundred percent. Every, <laughs> uh, we, would, we would just be, we watch ESPN, I think, 23 hours out of the day. Okay, cool, um, cool. So, uh, me, and, and then just random spurts, him or me, I, either or. We, man, this play will just bring up a play, and if you, if you would have did this or if I would have did this, yep. we constantly do that. Um, when he's watching film and I'm not, or vice versa, i will be like, bro, look, when you could if you would have did that or whatever, and he'll do the same. If you would have ran like this, it, it's 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 constant, it's constant. That's just it just kind of flows through us. That's how I, that's, that, that's, and how, that's how the connection is made. Tell me about the celebrations because. I don't know if they're pre-planned or not, but you got you got a routine and you run right to the center of the field after a touchdown catch. Take it from there. After is it all just like whoa? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just too happy. Yeah, it kind of it's it's kind of just like you know, um, w whatever comes to my mind. You know, I got I got a very vivid mindset, so whatever comes to my mind at the time, it, it, it just it just it flows out and. I don't know if you remember when I did the Conor McGregor. I don't know. I kind of was in the, in, the, in the heat of the moment. I just, I, I don't know. I, it just it just happens. I, some some of them are planned. Some yeah. of them aren't. Like I don't know. One of them I went and I gave the ball to uh, one of the guys in in the, in the stands, and I told him before the game I'll give him. The ball. Yeah, yeah. I saw you do that. So I mean that was planned, but for for the most part, not really. So this team ready to get on a roll? You feel it? Oh, I feel cut, it. I feel cut it. down I those feel two or three mistakes, and it's happening. I did. It, it's 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 here. It's here. It's time. And uh, the guys are, are kind. Of, the guys that haven't played in, in indoor football are kind of getting the hang of it, getting used to the rules. And you won't see the 15 penalties again. I, and I can promise that. Quinn Pedroza, one of our guests here in the steam room. We also want to thank owner Doug Bland, and we also want to remind you to get your tickets at steamwheelersfootball.com or ticketmaster.com or just head on down to the tax layer and say, hey, man, I want to see some great football because these guys are pretty exciting to watch. Got about 10 seconds. Luther Hughes, out of his mind, right? I, I, I mean, Mr. Anthony Hughes, out of his mind when he made that interception, which basically turned the game around. Oh, yeah, definitely. And that, that was even, we, were, we were only up by six. They were trying to score, and he came up, and... Yeah, we'll be seeing a lot more of him, I guarantee you that. Wow, that was crazy good, crazy good. Hey, hope you enjoyed another edition of the Steam Room. Don't forget, get to Top Shape Gym. There's six of them in town. They have everything you need to look like this guy. All right? <laughs> I'm Albrecht. We're out. Peace.